so I'm Benjamin Hogg, uh, I'm the head of uh, IT at uh, Media Lab. Etienne Com, I am a researcher and I work mainly on clustering and graph clustering a little bit. So we are the bad ones. We didn't uh, do any line of Java during the whole week. <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> we're not the only ones, that's true. But uh, we we um, uh, developed on the same uh, subject as uh, was presented uh, earlier uh, in the presentations uh, okay. regarding uh, clusterings, and uh, specifically uh, we we wanted to try and uh, evaluate uh, how uh, Louvain clusterings or other, any other clustering can be um, ambiguous. Yeah, uh, because uh, when you when you try to uh, run uh, Louvain for multiple times, you will get uh, different communities. And sometimes there are not even mm -hmm. the same number of communities. Yeah. Uh, some nodes are not are part of the same communities in one uh, thing mm -hmm. and the other. And so we wanted to try and uh, establish a metric uh, that would uh, help us understand in which case a node would be ambiguous regarding uh, a clustering. Uh, so the first thing that we did for that was to discuss all together and uh, mm -hmm. we we added uh, for uh, Mathieu Bastion uh, two more issues uh, to add <laughs> to Gephi. <laughs> I, I saw that he, he reviewed them, I mean he, he categorized them as two review. <laughs> but so the idea was that uh, whenever you run Louvain uh, inside uh, the modularity inside uh, Gephi, it would not overwrite uh, the community attribute, the class, the model modularity class every time, but it would regenerate a new one underscore one, underscore two, okay. or so on. And this way you could try and uh, visualize them easily from Gephi. Yeah. And the second uh, option would be when you run the modularity to have a, a button, I mean, a form to say that you want to run it 15 times yeah. or something like that. And so it would do, do it all at once. That was uh, the first uh, thing. But uh, then uh, we back on this metric. So we try to capitalize on uh, Mathieu's uh, previous work. Uh, he published in a, in a blog post uh, a couple of years ago, I think, uh, maybe more than that. Unpublished. It's unpublished, unpublished. Okay. <laughs> uh, where he already tried to try and um, evaluate which nodes uh, would be uh, ambiguous. So here's a graph uh, I don't remember what about, but we don't care. <laughs> and uh, in which the all uh, white uh, frontiers uh, delimit uh, actual clusters and the red uh, zones are the blurry ones. Okay. Uh, those that uh, where nodes would switch from one to the other. And so we worked on a, a variety of uh, options. So we, this is the same graph with uh, three different uh, Louvain uh, processings. Okay. So as you can see, uh, there are places I mean, the places that are ready here uh, can be seen, for instance, here, there's this node, uh, which here belongs to this community, where here it belongs to this one, and here it belongs to this one. Oh, that's nice, yes. Uh, for instance, also here you got a zone in which nodes tend to switch between this like big community, or here one and another, or here uh, even another one, but which is a bit different from this one, I think. Uh, and so on, you got also the same thing here. Uh, and so on. So uh, to try and uh, measure this, we had different IDs. Uh, first, we tried uh, an ID from Guillaume, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, consisted in uh, trying to evaluate the variance or the standard deviation. This is the one on the left. Uh, so uh, basically, the metric is visualized on the size of the nodes, and uh, the, the clusterings are the same as in the previous uh, view. Um, and uh, so the first one on the left uh, tries to evaluate the variance of the ratio, uh, I mean, uh, of uh, clusterings. I mean, we run like 50 clusterings. Okay. This is the number of clusterings out of 50 uh, in which a node, no, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> is uh, as it's the ratio of his neighbors uh, that, are, that belong to the same community. Okay. This is the variance of this measure across all clusterings. Okay. So this works uh, quite well for these nodes, which uh, are the, the shifty ones here. Uh, we also find this zone here, uh, but this one uh, doesn't work at all. And uh, we get other ones here uh, that uh, we, are we were surprised about. Uh, then we tried other IDs. Maybe I'll let uh, Etienne explain uh, the... Yes, so we, we wanted to correct this first approach by taking into account also um, the pair of nodes 
that are not directly linked. So we have sampled also pairs, pairs of nodes that are um, not near both. And we have computed the, the entropy of uh, the probability that they belong to the same cluster or not. And uh, this measure is a little bit more robust and more instructive for what we want to show. So uh, some of the drawbacks that we have seen here are not here anymore. We have uh, detected this one, okay. which were missed by the first one. And uh, we tried also with, uh, with other networks and we have also... Um, yes, so this is a network where, where the clustering is, is less stable. So... Um, if we if we if we show the, the, this measure on this network, you will see you will see that uh, a huge part of the network is very uncertain and ambiguous with respect to the algorithm. Only three parts of the network are, are quite stable, and uh, one corresponds to the Norwegian Sen, if I remember well. <laughs> which is very, uh, very, uh, very <laughs> autonomous and concentrated community. So this seems to, to work. We have uh, a, a first implementation in, in JavaScript of this ID, and we have also found some potential uh, way to, to think of ameliorations, but, yeah. but first step. So we tried, uh, so inside uh, the, I mean, we, we first evaluated it on uh, big networks and tried to see if it was working. And when we got things that we were happy with, we tried uh, also to check if it was working on simple graphs uh, where we, we expect things. Uh, so for instance, uh, if we have a click where all nodes are connected, normally Louvain should always produce only one community. And so the ambiguity of all nodes should be always zero. Works. Uh, some cases like this, which are uh, quite uh, expected, work nicely. Uh, then we are we have this case where uh, basically we have uh, two clicks that have a third network that is uh, connected to all others. So of course these have a big degree when those are, are smaller, and you see that about one of uh, one out of two uh, belongs to one community and uh, the other to the other, and so all of these nodes are switchy. So we would expect in this network that those two communities would have a, a, a switchability or ambiguity to be very low when this one should be high. Uh, and it works except for uh, a few rare cases in our tests, uh, which uh, led us to realize that there is actually maybe a, an issue with uh, Louvain's implementation, both in graphology and in Gephi. Uh, because um, uh, basically uh, when uh, Louvain is being run uh, to try and uh, fasten things, we only seed the first node that is uh, processed, but then the nodes are being processed in always in the same order, which is a cycle of uh, all the following nodes and back to the beginning. And so whenever you run Louvain, you start from a different point, but nodes are being processed always in the same order. And uh, we think that because of that, it creates uh, this kind of, uh, of issue that we met and so uh, so Mathieu, uh, Guillaume uh, he will check uh, if we can fix this in graphology and if it uh, fixes also uh, what uh, we expect and in this case we might uh, need to try to, to change it as well in, uh, in Gephi. Uh, so okay. and afterwards we can uh, improve also because right now we only made it work with uh, undirected graphs uh, yeah. so we would need to fix it I mean to try and uh, see the border cases for directed graphs and multi graphs which changes a bit the way we, we made the measure. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. Clément okay. next to me was saying fascinating, and it is indeed fascinating. So just what you just said about something that is hidden in the algorithm, yeah, it's just already a win because, you know, I we already know that data is innocuous and, and safe until you look into it. And then you realize it's not only dangerous potentially, but also dirty in many ways. Uh, the same goes also for algorithms. I mean, we could expect that, but I didn't have that in, on my radar. So here, now we, are, we have engaged a lot for different sub-projects with looking into the process of modularity clustering. And now we see stuff. And now we realize that some decisions that have been made and baked into the algorithm, we actually want to challenge them. So I think I would agree to say we want to change how it is, but 
I disagree that it's a fix in the sense that I think that <laughs> ah, it feature. was a design decision, but <laughs> it was a design decision made by someone who believes that you run this algorithm only once. So the order of the network really doesn't matter because if you run it only once, you can see it as random already. And then you would kind of just put a little bit of randomness for the sake of it, but that's, that's good. But this creates side effects for what we want to do because we want to really engage with this unreliability because we believe that ambiguity is the feature of the data and not of the algorithm. And now we need to undo that decision. But in fact, that's because we live in a different world. We want to do different things with that. And so as you can see, uh, Guillaume uh, anticipated this and, uh, and he proposed in the issue that it should be true by default, but shuntable. <laughs> <laughs> Are the same problem of ambiguities can, can be found in laden algorithm? We didn't uh, try to, to run it on other uh, clusterings yet, but uh, that's uh, the next step. But yeah. uh, our laden implementation in JavaScript is not finished. So, uh, and we run it uh, on a JavaScript clustering uh, so far, but uh, that's, uh, that would be a next step, yeah. As far as I know, the laden algorithm and the statistical inference algorithm by Thiago Peixoto, both are also non-deterministic and yeah. so they work similarly and also in fact when we implemented the statistical inference plugin we used the same uh, convergence heuristic as modularity so it must also have the same issue of yeah. non-randomized that we also we will also change but i want to add that as it's the same architecture basically for Leiden, i'm not so sure but for this other one yes all you've, you have done should basically translate and also all we've done for the uh, visualizing the process of the modularity algorithm converging, all of that applies yeah. to the other ones. We just need a little bit of time to cover all of that, but definitely we want to compare. Pole anomalies, whisking, where is the code? Uh, it's uh, regarding as uh, a graphology uh, um, ambiguity uh, metric, it's within uh, the, it's a, uh, it's a pull request in uh, graphology. 